Good evening and welcome to this News Watch update. I'm Taylor Burnett. The Ohio State Fair is open, but the grounds look very different this year. The statewide tradition was canceled for the first time in 75 years last year due to COVID-19. And even though the livestock and educational competitions are ramping up, visitors will not be flooding through the iconic Cardinal Gates. The Ohio Expo Commission decided in April not to have a full fair, but the junior fair component was preserved. Fair Assistant Manager Alicia Schultz says this change allows the state to celebrate agriculture while keeping people safe. The latest bill in the Ohio House would keep schools and businesses from requiring masks in their buildings. House Bill 209 is sponsored by Delaware Republican Senator Andrew Brenner. The legislation says the only local health departments could issue mask orders. I have had too many constituent complaints, including people in wheelchairs and so forth who are not supposed to be wearing masks, being told by businesses that they could not enter those facilities uh, without a mask on, even if they had a medical exemption. Ohio's mask mandate expired June 2nd, and Governor Mike DeWine says he is not interested in resurrecting it now. Now over to Nick with the weather. How's it going? I'm Nick Veland. Let's take a look at your weather right now in Athens. It's 83 degrees, partly cloudy, and only 55% humidity, so it's going to be very cool out there and should be a great rest of your Tuesday night. As we look ahead in our region right now, we will see that it's actually going to look at tomorrow. It's going to be 81 degrees with a low of 55 degrees and only a 10% chance of weather or of chance of rain, but those winds are going to keep it nice and cool, and that area will be very nice. Looking ahead to your morning commute tomorrow, it's going to be nice and cool in the morning in the low mid 60s from 67 to 69 from 6 to 8 and looking all the way up to 10 once that sun comes out and gets in effect it's going to be 74 degrees and partly cloudy. Looking ahead to the rest of your week in the 7 day forecast, upper 80s at the end of the week and all the way up to 90 on Monday and Tuesday with a very low chance of rain. Now over to Lexi with the sports. Happy Tuesday, everybody. I'm Lexi Lepoff. The Mid-American Conference Media Day was today in Detroit. MAC Commissioner John Steinbrecher offered praise at the start of the conference to Ohio retired head coach Frank Solich. He transformed the Bobcat football program. And I believe most of our programs would point to him as a model for how to build and sustain a program. Coach Solich will forever remain a legend in MAC coaching history. Back over to you, Taylor. Joe Wagner, an Ohio father, bought an ice cream truck for his two adult kids with Down syndrome. The Loveland family opened a business called Special Neat Treats in April. Wagner says he started the business to teach his kids financial, communication, and social skills. He wants to start engaging conversations around hiring people with special needs. The family plans to expand the business someday. Thanks for watching this Newswatch update. Tune into Newswatch tomorrow at 6.30 for all your news, weather, and sports. Have a great night.